Hey, what's going on everyone? It is Super Plays. Welcome back to another installation video. This is Flor de Lis Normans. This is an overhaul mod where uh, Medieval 2 takes place in the 11th century. Uh, it looks like this mod was originally in French. There's an English translation for it. It was just uploaded uh, a few uh, yesterday, probably a few days ago by the, the time this is up on the channel. Um, and so I think it's, it's certainly very, uh, very um, comprehensive in what it changes. We're going to look at a few things when we, when we, uh, you know, load in there. Uh, but luckily it's also a very easy mod to install. And I also want to apologize. Sorry if I sound a bit nasally. I'm getting over a cold right now. Um, but let's jump into it. I'll leave a link to this in the first comment below. You'll want to click on uh, files, click on Flor de Liz, click download now. Uh, you will need WinRAR uh, as well. So you'll want to, to uh, make sure that you uh, have that to unpack the file. Um, so go to your downloads. It's nine gigabytes, a very large, very large mod, uh, but you're going to double click on it, extract it to a specified folder, and you're gonna put it into your uh, Medieval 2 mods folder. So Steam Common, Medieval 2 mods, click OK. Uh, this is probably going to take maybe a couple minutes, perhaps, uh, because again, it's nine gigabytes. I can only imagine how much uh, is is in here. If you look, it, kind of read the description briefly. Uh, there's it allows factions to respawn. Uh, I'd imagine certainly new units uh, as well, perhaps new scripts. Um, I always kind of get excited when there's a mod that is, um, you know, not was originally made in English and then it is uploaded and there's an English translation because I think you know that's just something new for people who don't don't speak those languages that's certainly something absolutely new that we are able to experience uh, you know you know with Total War again so we'll come back once this is finished all right once that's finished um, you can go to your mods folder um, before that, though, make sure you have a Medieval Kingdoms, or I'm sorry, make sure you have a Kingdoms application in your Medieval 2 main folder. The way to do that is, if you do not have that already, is copy your Medieval 2 application, paste it into in there, and then rename the Medieval 2 copy as Kingdoms. This just allows you to run batch files and launchers in the mods folder without having to change any of the, uh, um, you know, any any of the DLCs. So find Flor de Liz A1, okay. Um, now because this mod is over four gigabytes, you will need to run the um, four gigabyte patch. I will leave a link to that um, also down below. There's a couple different four gigabyte patches. If you already have this, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You probably don't need to, you know, listen to this small portion here, but if not, um, you'll want to download the large address aware that I have here. Okay, double click on that. And then uh, click the three dots. Go to Kingdoms, click Open, click Save. And then you'll do the same thing for Medieval 2. Click Save, okay? So I'll leave a link to that download uh, or where to download it. Again, there's a really a few that you can get on the Medieval 2 uh, mod DB page, but I'll leave a link to that. Um, so just so there's no you know confusion um, once you've done that, you're ready to go. You can launch the Medieval 2 uh, WEOP GUI. All right, here you are. You're at the main menu. Very, very beautiful. If you play single player, uh, main campaign, um, there are clearly new factions. It doesn't look like there's a description. Maybe this is part of the kind of the translation, but um, let's see if we want to do Looks like there's a kingdom of Italy. So the thing is, is all the, are all these factions playable? Um, so let's look at say, where's where's where, where's France? Where's France? I'm probably like right in front of me. Kingdom of Venice, uh, Normandy. Here they are. Duh. Um, okay, let's like just load in just to see what happens. Kind of look at the campaign map. So start in the 11th century, as I said starting at 1000 AD. <clears throat> All right, very nice. This is impressive. Uh, you have a ton of forts. I like it. Uh, looks like on the campaign map, you can see them dotted. 
uh, perhaps maybe that will go away. Um, it looks like King Robert. Yes. Uh, so this is a really impressive mod, guys. Um, I would certainly be, certainly be interested. Spearmen, infantrymen, uh, and maybe we can go back real quick and just kind of um, look at the units a little uh, more fully uh, if we do a battle. Um, just do Arsif. Um, and then let's see the, uh, the French. So looking at these units here, yeah, this is these units look really nice. Um, sergeants, it's like a couple different types of sergeants. And it might be a translation thing as well. Um, they're looking at England. So it looks like there's some similarity there. But again, that's okay. You know, I think this is this is impressive. Anything that's different from vanilla. Um, yeah, guys, this is epic. I, you know, I might do a campaign for this. Um, I don't haven't seen a lot on crashes or stuff like that stability of the mod i'm assuming you know i mean this says version four maybe there's you know different versions for the campaign and it's you know version seven for the overall mod but i'm curious if you have played this and it seems pretty stable i might do a, a, a playthrough for this um again you guys know if it if there's crashing i just can't i just don't have time for it so uh you know we'll see though this looks really promising so thanks so much, guys. Let me know in the comments if you do have any questions. Everyone stay super, and I'll see you next time.